Hello everyone, this is William Armstrong here, and I am learning more about the coronavirus, and this time, Inside Edition on YouTube has actually made a video about the Pope sick after voicing support for the coronavirus patients, for the Catholic, for the Catholic religion, Pope Francis himself is actually feeling sick at most. And obviously he seems to be feeling unwell, but the spokesperson for the Pope says that he's only suffering a slight indisposition, but as the coronavirus sprint starts spanning the globe all over, the DHS experts advise Americans to be prepared for an outbreak by stocking up on cold and flu meds and food and electrolyte rich drinks. The media and news outlets seem to portray like that this coronavirus is going to cause a possible thing where people have to buy a lot of cold meds, food, and electrolyte rich electrolyte rich drinks, but it seems to be blown a little too far out of proportion. And the Pope himself is sick after wishing support for the patients of coronavirus, where he's coughing and having to blow into a tissue as well um and he's also blowing his nose too so the pope is at risk for the coronavirus because the pope is way up on the age for one and two people that are elderly and or smokers or anyone who has lung problems or any additional health issues including hiv well not hiv i should well i should say hiv or aids or lung problems, or any health condition that impacts your immune system, including your respiratory system, then the coronavirus will have a rough course of action on people that have weakened immune systems and or respiratory problems to begin with. So I'm seeing it where the coronavirus affects people that are having either A, problems with their lungs, like how are they having lung pre-existing lung conditions or at most the immune system issues and I should also try to possibly speculate that lung cancer might also cause problems if a person did get the coronavirus even though they have lung cancer they're still at a risk of the coronavirus because of the lung cancer but those who have those health conditions are more at risk for the virus but also for ones that are healthy may still be at risk, but the chances of survival are high with those who have a healthy immune system and are able to get through the coronavirus. But the doctor in China died from the virus, even though he was a healthy person, he still managed to die from the virus later. And now there's a reported case of the coronavirus here in the US, one death reported already. So, this whole coronavirus thing, it's having me a little bit concerned, but not too totally concerned. The chances of it spreading are low, at the most part, due to quarantines are in effect to where travel is restricted to prevent the spread may seem to help, but community spread may occur for example, if California was underneath quarantine where no one could travel in and out of California and no one is allowed to travel around California, then the coronavirus still could be contained within California, but still spread in a smaller community in California. This is William Armstrong signing out, and I will see you next time. This is a shorter update.